This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. So we have an another chat GPT clone. This is known as Vikuna, which is an open source chatbot and it kind of impresses GPT-4 with 90% chat GPT quality. Now, what is this statement? This statement says that it is a non, uh, it's a fun and non-scientific evaluation with GPT-4. So the output of Vikuna is being evaluated by GPT-4. Okay. So what they've done over here is that uh, they introduce this Vikuna 13 billion parameters model. It's an open source chatbot by fine tuning, trained by fine tuning Llama, Meta Llama on user shared conversations collected from ShareGPT. So on ShareGPT website, people share their conversations with ChatGPT. Um, so it has been trained on that over here and preliminary evaluation was done using GPT-4. Okay. Uh, it achieves uh, more than 90% quality of ChatGPT and Google Bard while outperforming other models like Stanford Alpaca in more than 90% of the cases. It's not rigorous. That's what they claim over here. And the cost of training this model is around $300 only. Okay. So they have, uh, they have, uh, they have released the code. Okay. Along with an online demo, which is for non-commercial use. So let us quickly check the demo. Okay, so I've clicked on the demo over here. Uh, so choose a model to chat with. Oh, so you can uh, chat with either of these three. So I am choosing Vikuna over here. And there is the chatbot. Uh, this is the chatbot output. So I have to enter text over here. So let me try something like, uh, let me pull some information on Tesla Model X. Okay. Let me copy this content up to here. And let's ask the chatbot to write a, uh, okay. Let's say, write an email describing, describing the below product, product to your customers. Let's see. Okay. Man. Okay. Dear valued customers. We are excited to introduce you to the Tesla model X battery. Okay. 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 Nice. Pulls into this thing also. Okay. Thank you for concern. We look forward to the opportunity to help you get brand new Amazon. Nice. It's done a nice email rendering. Okay. Now let's try, uh, Write a short article on write a short article on a random forest. Forest explaining the math behind the algorithm. Let's see what it generates. You can also upvote or downvote a response over here. Uh, this helps them improve their training. Okay, that's the idea. Because this model is subject to license of Llama, you cannot use it to for commercial purposes. So you will see a lot of these models coming up, which cannot be used for commercial purposes, but they are good for writing academic papers. That's what I've seen now. Right. So you can also take a Llama model and then train it on some data set, compare it on some benchmarks and publish a paper, but then nobody can use that model commercially. Okay. So this is an article on random forest. Okay. The math behind the is the concept of addition trees. Okay. Nice. Nice. This process is repeated. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll try one last coding example and then maybe we can go for, you know, the details of the paper. Right. Python. Program. Data Python program. to perform image classification using ResNet models. I don't know what comes out. Let's see. Just need to TensorFlow Keras. Okay. Nice. Mm, base model is equal to Keras.application.ResNet. ImageNet. Okay, increase the base model layers. Okay, 
See base model is this. Here it becomes base underscore model. Hmm. This is giving some output. There could be syntax errors in this output for sure. Kind of gives an idea of how this program would look like. Okay. So this was a short demo, right? Now let's go back to the paper. So how did they do this, right? Uh, so this is where they've done. They've collected user shared conversations from shared GPT. They, were, uh, they have done supervised instruction fine tuning on Llama. So this data set, I think had close to 70K records. Okay, this is where they've given some examples. Yeah, 70K user shared shared GPT conversations. Okay, so on that they have trained it. And here they have done comparisons with say Alpaca and Vicuna, how the performances are. And basically these are the two responses. And then they are using GPT-4 to say that, okay, assistant one, this is the response, assistant two, this is the response, which gave better response. GPT-4 gives like this, right? Assistant one provided a brief overview, assistant two composed a detailed and engaging travel blog post. Okay, for this particular, uh, particular problem, okay? Uh, what they say is uh, this is a quality okay but this is not yet a rigorous approach okay the demo we saw so this is the training purpose which they uh, uh, the training method which uh, what they have done over here is supervised instruction fine tuning on llama on this 70k conversation data basically chat data user shared conversations evaluation with gpt4 and they are serving with fast chat okay the demo which we saw and they have given the comparisons over here between these models okay data set on llama is this thing alpaca is self uh, instruct from davinci user shared conversations training code is available for both of them uh, this is 500 cost this is 140 for training and 300 for training and they have given some details on memory optimizations and other things how they did it over here okay and what did they train it on? Uh, 70 conversations, VN and training was done on PyTorch FSDP on eight A100 GPUs in one day. So this model has been developed in a single day basically, right? And for the demo, we implement a lightweight distributed serving system. Okay, that is for the demo, right? Further details of training memory optimizations are given over here, you can check it out. And how to evaluate uh, what they have done over here is that they have used GPT-4 for evaluation. Okay. Uh, we devised eight question categories. For me problems, role play scenarios, coding math tasks to various aspects of chat performance. Through careful prompt engineering, GPT-4 is able to generate diverse challenging questions that baseline models struggle with. We select 10 questions per category and collect answers from five chatbots, Llama, Alpaca, uh, chat GPT, Bard and Vicuna. We then ask GPT-4 to rate based on helpfulness, relevance, accuracy and detail. Okay, so that is how they did this. Hmm. And here are some details of, uh, you know, how much were Thai response comparison assessed by GPT-4. Uh, GPT-4 is not very good at judging coding or math tasks. Okay. And here are the comparison results. And what they say is that Vicuna is better than Llama or Alpaca. Right? And up to 90% of chat GPT's performance. That's what they claim over here. To do the comparison between, say, uh, Vicuna and other models. Okay. So this was a short video on Vicuna. You can go and check out this chatbot. You can also evaluate it. I think a lot of more such chat GPT clones will start coming and OpenAI will really have competition now. Currently, you know, uh, they are tied up by the license uh, issues of Llama for commercial use. But I think if Llama has been replaced by say Flan or some other open source models, then uh, it could be used for commercial purposes. Okay, so if this video is helpful for you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. I'll be putting the link to Vikuna, the demo, as well as the GitHub of their code. See you in another video.